<clears throat> Hello and good morning. And how are you? And what's going on? I'm gonna come a little closer. <clears throat> I'm rocking some monkey fists that I got gifted by Deb. What's up, Deb? She did this. She made this for me. Cool. And they sling like a dream. They're like uh, just the right length for my long game. On fade cord. Go over, I'm just gonna go over some stuff. Um, hello to y'all that are watching that don't know that we do live streams. We do live streams. We do them every Saturday. Yeah. All you new members. What's up? What's up, new members? What's up? You know who you are. What are y'all doing? Uh, <laughs> I am going to show you some things that you can do if you are a beginner and you want to learn some simple stuff, because I kind of try to go over simple stuff, because I want everybody to learn beggary. I don't want it to just be one of those things that's just too hard. I want everybody to learn it, so, okay. Now that we've got that out of the way. For you members that do not know, we have uh, archived a lot of the past live streams. I used to do that, but I stopped doing it. Uh, and it's on, <laughs> it's on the files section. So if you go into the files section, you will see the archived live streams of long ago, ever since we started doing this, and then it kind of dropped off. <laughs> no one took the reins on that one. <laughs> but yeah, it's easy to go back to the old live streams and you might find a bunch of, um, well, the earlier ones that I did that have a lot of tutorials, a lot of workshops, is where I called them. And that's kind of what I'm going to show you now, is a workshop. And it's going to go over uh, linking tricks as one of the things I want to go over. Linking tricks and unhook ladders. If you don't know what that is, I'll show you what that is. And then you'll know what that is. And we all win. <laughs> so, okay, let's see, the first thing. Linking tricks. Okay, if you're a beginner and you're having trouble linking tricks, I can show you what goes into it, how you can kind of do it easier, I guess, if you're not thinking about it. So the first thing that you want to learn as a beginner are simple rebounds, rebounds. That's the easiest thing to learn. And from that, you would think, well, what can I do from that? Well, how can I link that into another trick? Well, you can always do a slip. That's a slip. And a slip can set you up for a wrap grab and do another slip into a rebound. See what's going on? So that's a good way to link some simple tricks right there. <clears throat> now I want to show you something that I don't think I've gone over and it's what I call a pinching rolling stop rebound. <laughs> Stick with me, don't, I don't want to lose you. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, this is going to be, that right there is the pinch rolling stop rebound. And what's happening is I'm pinching the string here as it's doing a rolling stop over. When it comes back around, I rebound that way. And that's what that's that's what's happening there. So, 
conflicts like that, and it happens really fast. But it's a good way to kind of learn a rolling stop if you've never tried one. Now, in the file section, I added a whole uh, article, I guess, a file, a document <laughs> about rolling stops versus rollovers. Yeah? And there is a difference between the two, but they are both quite similar. So I kind of cover that if you don't know what either are and you want to understand it better, I guess. Go to the file section and you can you can find that and look into it. And I even put little pictures, I put pictures so you can see in static view what certain things look like. I tried to add some visuals to that to help you out. I'm a visual person. Yeah. So I gotta see things. Like it, I just I just do. Like I can't be told by words. I can't be told by voice. Like if, if even at work it's so hard for me to follow direction because if, if I don't have something to look at and they're requiring me, they're like expecting me to think of it and see it in my mind, it just doesn't work that way for me. I'm a visual person, so I need a visual aid. And there's there's a lot of people out there that are like that. I'm not the only one. Okay, so I don't feel so bad about it. <laughs> but yeah, if you're a visual person, that's uh, that'll probably help you to understand rolling stops versus rollovers. And if you want, I can go over it real quick too on here. And I wasn't gonna do that, but I can do that. I can do that for you. <clears throat> okay, let's see where I can I set this up. Um rolling stop. Rolling stop looks like this. So I'm doing right there. So I'm doing right there. Can you see that? That's a rolling stop. Okay, what's happening is the string or the cord is going over a 360 this way the bead flips. And then you pinch it and let it do it again. And let it do it again. And each time you're pinching it, each time you're pinching it, as it makes a 360, as the bead makes a 360 rotation around your finger, that is a rolling stop. To, to get kind of comfortable with rolling stops, because they are a little tricky and you do need timing to get them down. And they can also be done it can be done with the thumb pinching. They can be done with just two fingers pinching and they would do a scissors motion, two fingers. So it would look like this, like, it was kind of hard to see. <laughs> like this, like this, you know what I mean? So there's different ways that you can do rolling stuff. You probably even do them, let me see. Yeah, thumb and other fingers. If you could do it one finger, hello Toen. If you can do index, then do mid, then do ring. Just conquer them all and then do the pinky is really tricky but you can tame that. You can tame that. You can make that happen. <laughs> so that's a rolling stop. But I digress. I should have showed you how to do a rollover first. Because rollovers are kind of essential to rolling stops. They're kind of like the building block to rolling stops. If you want to get into rolling stops, it's good to learn a rollover first. And now that you know what a rolling stop looks like, I'll show you the rollover. Yeah? So roll over, and I'll use the same high grip. Let's see. That. Wait. That is a rollover. See what happened? It switched from standard high grip to outside mid grip. That's a rollover. See? I'll show you that way, like that. Like that. See what just happened there? From here to there. That is a rollover. And what it does is it switches grips. So that you can get into other tricks 
easily, it's like a grip transfer type of thing. And if you can tell, I'm going to switch, wait. I'm just gonna do a bunch of them so you can see what, what it looks like. Those are rollovers right there. See what's happening? So the bead is traveling from here to here to there and then back this way. No, this way. <laughs> and then this way. And then over, wait. Over here, yeah. That is a rollover. So if you start doing rollovers, they're not too hard to get into, but they are the basis for rolling stops. You'll get used to feeling how it feels for that beat to flow between your fingers from inside to outside to inside. And it happens with rebounds. See, the rebounds kind of help the flow of the motion to continue. Okay, the phone's ringing, I gotta go. <laughs> I may come back and continue this, but thanks for watching.